Saturday Night Football at Foothill College featured a matchup between two polar opposites. Palo Alto's aerial assault taking on Mitty's ground and pound rushing attack. Opening drive, Keller Chris showing off why he's arguably the top quarterback recruit in the country. A nice 30-yard scramble, watch the big 6'4 senior move. Now time to show off the arm. Chris drops back and hits Keyshawn Johnson with a beautiful 21-yard TD pass. Palo Alto quickly up 7-0. But Mitty responds, anything you can do, psh, I can do better, says quarterback Brett Foley. 60 yards on the keeper and the score. It's knotted up at seven apiece. Late first, Vikings force the punt. Kyle Evans makes them pay. A quick dash towards the sidelines, aided by a stellar block by number 33, Eric Sargis, and Evans whoop, goes to work up the field, and he's got plenty of help around him. Evans putting on a clinic. This is how you read your blocks, kids. A 72-yard punt return makes it 14-7 Monarchs. Second quarter. On the very first play, it's Evans once again. Evans, with some nifty moves, finds a hole and psh, he is off to the races. Palo Alto's Keyshawn Johnson with a last ditch effort, but to no avail. He'll join Evans in the end zone. A 65 yard TD run, it's 21 7 Mitty. But the Vikings will come back swinging. Chris, back to pass and finds one of his favorite targets in Malcolm Davis. Davis with a great diving 43-yard TD catch. Palo Alto back within seven. Vikings next possession. Chris with a screen pass to running back Andrew Frick. Frick running down the sidelines, shrugs off a tackle, and all he sees is green. But Mitty Sargis saves the day with a great hustle play, brings down Frick from behind, and prevents the score. Mitty would buckle down on defense and make a goal line stand. Palo Alto would be forced to turn it over on downs, and it would lead to two field goals by Tanner Haas, one from 25, the other from 42, to close out the half. Mitty in control, 27-14. Third quarter, it was all Monarchs. Mitty's first possession lasted an astonishing 10 minutes. Driven by plenty of power runs by Evans, he finished with a buck 38 on the ground, and it's capped off by a four-yard TD run by Foley, his second touchdown of the night to go along with his 147 rushing yards, making it 34-14 Monarchs. Palo Alto the ball in the third only once. Fourth quarter, it was more of the same. But now the Monarchs defense in the spotlight. Chandler Ramirez gives his steal of approval as he sacks Chris on consecutive plays, and that does it. Mitty takes this one 34-14. They had three rushers go over when the 100-yard plateau with Evans, Foley, and even Ramirez. The Monarchs improve to 3-0. and oh. So I'm here with quarterback Brett Foley for Mitty. You had a big game. You guys took control of the ball. You guys took care of it. Uh, tell me about the game plan. Uh, well, we just came in looking to run and get the ball away from that great quarterback they have. And our line and our running backs, it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it with so much force and power. And uh, just can't wait to come back next week. Now, yeah, tell me about that offensive line. You guys really took control of that. Big holes for your running backs and for yourself. Yeah. Uh, what can you contribute most for that, uh, that O-line being so successful today? Uh, it's just the fire we have in us. We face a lot of adversity this week. And with two linemen down, our other quarterback down, and some other little injuries, and we just had a fire to come out and take control of the game, and that's what happened. Edwin Wise here was running back Kyle Evans. Now, Kyle, you had a big game today. You guys come out with a victory. Tell me about it. Um, you know, we just did what we did. We practiced all week. We knew they had a lot of good players. We just came out and played our game. Now, what do you think was the turning point of this matchup? I mean, you guys trading scores early on, but then you guys really took control with that power run game. Tell me about that. Um, you know, we just took advantage of the turnovers, uh, played our game, we're fast, quick. We just did what we did. Now, is the, the run game going to be like this every week? Can we expect that? We hope so. We hope so. I can't make any promises, but we're a good team. We're a good team.